I'm pretty sure right now it's like sitting 20 feet that way in a plastic storage bin where it's been for like the past five years haunting me. I should get rid of it. Hi, I'm Shell and I'm a cosplayer. If you are new to my channel, welcome. Or if you're a subscriber, welcome back. Now, you may be thinking, Shell, we've been seeing your cosplays on YouTube for years. They're at least halfway decent. And if you are thinking that, thank you. I agree. I am not here to call my cosplays bad, because I put some work into them and I'm generally proud of them. I am here though to <laughs> expose some of the things I do or don't do that I could improve upon. The internet is like a highlight reel of someone's life, right? So we see all of the good stuff because people tend not to post the bad stuff. And you get this misconception about what's actually going on with people and you don't see their struggles. You only see their successes. So I'm here to expose my struggles. Number one, I cannot style wigs. I know I've made a couple videos where I share like general tips or I showed how to make buns that one time. That's about all I can do. I can curl wigs and I've gotten a lot better recently at cutting bangs like straight across. But my biggest struggle with wigs are like volume and spikes and I really, really want to be better at it. As I am right now though, I find wig styling very challenging and it kind of limits the characters I choose to cosplay. I cosplay a lot of characters with like regular straight hair just because I don't think I am capable of like styling cool wigs. And that's, that's not great. I want to be able to cosplay like characters with cool hair too. So that is something I want to get better at and I want to improve. Reason number two why I'm a bad cosplayer, I am not good at makeup. Now don't get me wrong, like I can put on a face, but I haven't done makeup tutorials for this channel really. And that's because I have one look, just one. I do a light cream on the inside of my eye and then I go out into like a darker color for Sonia, it's like a generic neutral beige sparkle. For Shira, it's gold. For Elsa, it's purple. For Kyoko, it's purple. For Kaede, it's pink. <laughs> then I do eyeliner just on the top lid and mascara and blush and that's about it. <laughs> However, I am really pleased with the cosplay makeup look that I do have even if it's just one look. I like it. I just wish I could do more. Reason number three why I'm a bad cosplayer is that I have cosplays I've made that I can no longer physically wear. At this point, I'm mostly thrifting or buying cosplays rather than like outright making. But when I started years ago, I sewed entire cosplays that were like original designs. The thing is though, I did not sew them well. There is one specific costume I made that will never see the light of day that was a Yuri on Ice cosplay of Viktor Nikivrov's um, like world championship outfit. It wasn't terrible. It was it was fine, but I I wore it to to one meetup once and I have just I've never wanted to wear it again. <laughs> I'm pretty sure as I speak, it's like sitting in a plastic storage bin 20 feet that way, where it's been for the past five years, haunting me. The way I try to describe my skills is that I'm not really a sewer, I'm more of a tailor because I am quite good at finding existing garments and adjusting them through sewing, like making them fit me better or adding things or replacing things like that that I've got down pat. But if you put me in front of a bolt of fabric and a pattern, there are some cosplays that I've been working on for literal years and haven't finished because I just keep hitting roadblock after roadblock because I, I can't sew well. <laughs> uh, so it's really frustrating, honestly. Um, I really 
wish I was better at it, um, and it's something I want to improve on. The fourth reason why I'm a bad cosplayer is because I don't care about accuracy. I have said it before on this channel, and I will say it until the day that I die. Cosplays are good no matter how accurate they are, we're all just nerds playing dress up, and it ain't that deep. But at the same time as that, I do really admire cosplayers who are super accurate. It takes an insane level of dedication and effort and time to make an amazingly accurate cosplay. With the majority of my cosplays, I don't need them to be accurate because I'm just wearing them to have fun. But I do think it would be really cool if someday I could make one cosplay of one really special character that is highly detailed, impeccably crafted, and like incredibly accurate. I think that would be such an amazing experience and such an amazing goal. You can cosplay in different ways for different reasons, right? There can be one cosplay that you buy from Amazon for 20 bucks just to run around a con in and have fun. There can be another cosplay that you spend hours meticulously crafting to perfection because you find the satisfaction in that process. Both of those experiences are completely valid and they can also exist together. You don't have to cosplay just one way. So although I often say that accuracy doesn't matter, and at the end of the day, it doesn't, I find so much appreciation and so much admiration for people who do strive to be accurate. I think that is a really amazing skill in of itself, and I would love to try something like that someday. Okay, so fun fact, I've been filming in a split this entire time because if I stand up, I'm out of frame. My knees really hurt. <laughs> the fifth and final reason why I am a bad cosplayer is because I refuse to wear colored contacts. I'm adding this to the list of reasons why I'm a bad cosplayer because I do think cosplay contact lenses look really cool on people. Um, I love them on other people. I think the effect in person and in photos is amazing. I just honestly cannot be bothered. <laughs> I'm too lazy. <laughs> If you've subscribed to this channel for a long time, that statement may confuse you because I've actually done a review for a contact lens company. But we're friends here, so I can tell you the truth. Uh, truth is, before that review, I had never worn contacts for cosplay. Ever. Because I just didn't care. And frankly, I still don't care. From my point of view, cosplay contact lenses are around $30 a pair and a pair typically expires within six months or one year. So if I'm buying a pair for every cosplay I do, that's $30. And then if I'm still gonna wear that cosplay again after those contacts expire, that's another $30. And that's just, that's just expensive. <laughs> I would be open to wearing lenses for my cosplay in the future, um, but only if they could come in my prescription and they were like a cool effect that I couldn't replicate on Photoshop. So those are five reasons why I am a bad cosplayer. Every single cosplayer has skills and struggles. So let me know in the comments down below one thing you are great at with your cosplays and one thing you want to improve on. Before I go, I want to mention that I got a really nice message on Instagram recently from someone who said that my videos kind of gave them a more optimistic outlook on cosplay and encouraged them to keep going when they were feeling like their cosplays weren't good enough. <laughs> and I appreciate that so, so much. Because <laughs> at my core, I really do fundamentally believe that cosplay should be accessible, enjoyable, and safe for everyone who wants to do it. And I am so happy that I get to spread that message and that you guys are receiving it and appreciating it. And I cannot put into words how amazing that is. All I can say is thank you. Oh, last thing, I promise. Uh, the reason why this is here is because I keep getting comments on my TikToks of people saying, I didn't know you were on TikTok. Now you do. So thank you so much for watching. If you liked this video, give it a thumbs up down below. I hope you have a wonderful day, and I will see you next time. Bye!